Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if this is the first time for you to visit my channel, you probably would like to know uh, what my channel is all about. And you also would like to know how my channel uh, is different from so many other cooking channels on YouTube. Uh, well, probably based on the title of my channel, you already know my channel must be have something to do with the walk. And I can tell you that you are partially right. Uh, the walk is an important part of my YouTube channel. But I have also other parts of the YouTube channel uh, is very important and they play a critical role uh, in the overall objective uh, what I try to achieve. In fact, my primary goal of the channel is to help people to eat more vegetables. Uh, we all know that uh, vegetables play a very important role in our health and uh, every nutritionist will urge people to eat more vegetables. However, unfortunately, in the US today, uh, less than 10% of the population eat the daily required minimum recommendation of fruit and vegetables. Uh, so one of the most important questions I've been asking uh, when I create this YouTube video is that how could I help people to eat more vegetables? Uh, because uh, without the sufficient consumption of vegetable, it has dire consequences in many aspects, all the way from obesity uh, to chronic diseases that affect the quality of life. Uh, the first thing I will hear people saying already is that uh, I don't like vegetables. Uh, vegetables is tasteless. Uh, they are yucky and particularly come from children and uh, they are not flavorful at all uh, in comparison to uh, a hamburger or a hot dog. Uh, this includes a very famous saying uh, from one of our former presidents. Uh, at the time when he was president, he said, uh, I don't like broccoli and I am the president of the United States today and I am not going to eat broccoli. Uh, in this YouTube channel, I want to show people is that vegetable actually are uh, very flavorful. Uh, in fact, they have complex texture and flavor. Uh, they are more so than meat. Uh, the problem is that uh, most people do not know how to cook vegetables. So one goal of my YouTube channel is to show people how to find the flavor in vegetable that they would like. Uh, this including using herbs and spices to enhance the natural flavor of the vegetable, uh, using sauces and so on uh, to create the type of uh, vegetable flavor that they enjoy. And I call this flavor chasing, which is an important part of my YouTube channel. Uh, another common complaint that I hear from people who uh, try to avoid vegetables is that uh, vegetable is uh, difficult to prepare uh, because you buy the vegetable, you bring it back from the supermarket, you have to cut them up, you have to prep them. And most people just put it in the refrigerator and forget about it and ready to to use them, uh, they will not be good anymore. Uh, also, most people when they cook vegetable, uh, they will prep the vegetable uh, before they do the cooking. Uh, so after they finish prepping the vegetable, they are already getting pretty tired and then they have to cook. And that's why it makes the whole cooking experience a negative rather than a positive experience. Uh, so in my YouTube channel, I'm going to help people to develop a system which I call advanced prepping. What it means is that when you purchase the vegetable, you take it home and uh, you prep it right away and you put it in plastic container and store in the refrigerator. So when you're ready to cook, they are all ready at your fingertips. Advanced prepping play a significant role uh, in the third attribute or the third aspect uh, of my YouTube channel, which is to show people how to do stir fry in the wok. Now stir fry is par none the most efficient cooking method. Uh, you can cook a dish in less than five minutes and you can cook a complex dish in about 10 minutes. However, uh, stir fry rely heavily on the prepping of the ingredients. Now just imagine if you already have the ingredient prep. So when you stir fry, you can cook immediately and you can make the process seamlessly and you're going to enjoy it far more if you have to prep it at the same time when you're going to cook. Uh, the other question or uh, complaint that I frequently uh, heard from uh, other people about cooking vegetables is that uh, I don't know what to cook. Uh, I don't want to follow recipes. It is too much pressure. And if I don't have enough time, when I get home, 
the last thing I want is to look up recipes how to cook vegetables. So my answer to this particular question is that I'm going to help you to develop what I would call template-based cooking. A template is really is a recipe that in a general form. So what it does is that it extracts the essence of the cooking steps. And within the framework of the template, uh, you can make modifications and adjustments. And the important thing about template-based cooking is that uh, once you understand the template, you can cook the same thing over and over again, but by replacing the ingredients and by how you season the dish, you can create many versions of this particular template. Uh, over the past several years, I've been teaching uh, quite a number of cooking classes uh, to all different age group, uh, to different type of uh, background. And I found out that uh, I can help people to uh, cook vegetable best is by developing a cooking system that they can follow. And I call this cooking system the FAST cooking system. And FAST is the acronym of the four different attributes which I have just mentioned. Uh, F represents uh, flavor chasing. A represents uh, advanced prepping. S represents stir frying. And T for template based cooking. Now, all these four different attributes of my cooking system must work together in order uh, to reap the whole benefit. Uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, advanced prepping is key because by advanced prepping, you have the ingredients available that you can uh, cook with efficiency. And when you cook with efficiency, it allows you to experiment uh, by doing flavor chasing and find the flavor that you enjoy. But through template-based cooking, it will allow you to continue to make changes, make substitutions, and uh, not to be bound by recipe uh, to achieve the type of flavor that you are looking for. So you can see these four uh, attributes in the fast cooking system uh, in fact uh, work in a coordinated way. Uh, in some way, you can uh, take the analogy that being an artist. So what you have is that you have a notion in mind what you want to achieve uh, through in the case of flavor chasing. Uh, but you're going to have a palette of paint uh, that you can draw from. This will be the advanced prepping. And then you will have a platform uh, to test out your ideas, which in this case is stir frying because it occurs quickly and you can make changes rapidly. The template based cooking it provides you with the framework for you to try out different uh, aspects of your cooking approach. Now, with template based cooking, uh, it provides an opportunity to create variations that are almost limitless. Let's take an example. If you have one template that will provide you with six or seven different versions, uh, you don't need that many more templates. Uh, if you add one, two, three, maybe four more templates, you have five different templates. If each template will create uh, seven different versions, right there, you can cook 35 different dishes at any one time. Uh, let's say now you have a template for create spaghetti sauce, uh, but you have another template for you to create a chili. Now imagine you can combine these two templates together and create something uh, in combination as a hybrid. So the idea of combining uh, templates together will give you even more possibilities. And that's what I do all the time. Uh, in the past three years, I have cooked probably hundreds and hundreds of meals. I have yet to cook two dishes exactly the same way. Uh, personally, uh, after I adopt this uh, cooking system, it has made a profound change in my life. Uh, I eat far more vegetables and I consume less calories. I feel better both physically and psychologically. And I have a sense of that I am also contribute to the wellness of the environment. So uh, over the years, I have taught this uh, cooking system uh, to a number of people in my cooking classes as well as through my YouTube channel. Uh, many of them has reported significant uh, impact on their life. Uh, recently, I read this comment uh, on my YouTube channel from one of the students, and she said it very, very well. 
uh, in how this cooking system has affected her uh, both in what she eats as her lifestyle. I should summarize uh, the outcome of using my uh, fast cooking system uh, probably better than I ever could. Therefore, I would like to uh, share her comments with you. We absolutely are eating more fresh vegetables since I got a walk and I started using the fast cooking system. Before, I had never bought a head of cauliflower, a bunch of broccoli, or fresh mushrooms. Now my favorite part of the week is prepping my veggies and thinking of all the wonderful stir fries we'll enjoy. I also brought and loaded a masala daba. Watch the video if you haven't. And the possibilities are endless. Cooking is so fun and the results are so satisfying. Thank you, Tak, for these wonderful videos. Uh, of course, as a teacher for over 30 years, this is exactly what I would like to hear. So I'm very grateful for her to share her comments with me and it makes me feel really gratified of the effort that I put into in developing this YouTube channel as well as my cooking classes. Uh, I'm posting videos uh, on a regular basis. So far, I've been posting one video uh, every day. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to last, but this is my current uh, uh, posting pace. So if you'd like to receive notification of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.